What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Zach Reacts, and it is past Death Battle Day. Yeah, I know I'm late. Red Hood versus Winter Soldier. Now, who am I going for in this? I I'm kind of leaning towards Red Hood in this case. I'll be honest, I kind of lean towards DC a lot of it when it comes to these versus matches. Though, I will say, Winter Soldier in the comics has like 100 years worth of experience, so... Like, that may be like a key factor in here. But other than that, yeah, I'm still betting on uh, Red Hood. So, here we go. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into this. Sidekicks. Every good superhero or world-conquering scientist needs one. Right, Boomstick? That's right. Hey, I think we all know which one of us is the real sidekick here. Such as the Winter Soldier, Marvel's brainwashed assassin. And Red Hood, <laughs> DC's resurrected Robin turned vigilante. Yep. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. Okay, between and the two of them, who is their the weapons, sidekick? Armor and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Like, tell me, who do y'all think is the sidekick between Wiz and Boomstick? World War II. As strange as it is to name a war a sequel like some sort of movie, it was a time of turmoil that? across the globe. <laughs> The brave and patriotic Damn, did their so part, American, including actually, one shit. James Buchanan Barnes, known by his friends as Bucky. Bucky! As a young lad, Bucky ripped open a standard superhero booster pack to find classic cards like dead parents and deep desire to fight for justice. And that of course! Well in the Not long <laughs> after that, he became friends with his own personal hero and the country's favorite Boy Scout. Captain America! He unaware of the captain's secret identity until one night he walked in on Steve Rogers changing into his costume. <laughs> well, I guess that's one way to get to know a guy. Then Buggy and asked him to become his partner the 40s. in crime. Hero work. They <laughs> fought side by side, kicking Nazi in. Until one fateful mission, and they left after a plane to catch Nazi scientist Baron Zemo. Fortunately for Bucky, he was able to grab onto the plane. I will Cap say, like, like out of all the, out of all the MCU it, movies, Captain America: The First Avenger. This may be controversial opinion, but that's the best. The that's the best movie in the MCU. You know why? Because it's the only comic movie comic that actually makes me feel proud does. to be an American. Sometime <laughs> after the war, a Russian submarine discovered Bucky's body preserved in the icy waters of the English Channel. Bucky's mm. training and experience made him the perfect candidate as the ultimate assassin. And after they revived and brainwashed him, they outfitted him with a shiny new bionic arm. Him a killing He's machine. Only five, not Star ninety-four. With the wow. Formula, which permanently Holy increased his physical shit, ability to an enhanced God. state. This made he already won the, the game. He won the game. No, Stanley did not die. He won the game. He won the game. He lived to 95. He his won the game. His advanced strength and speed, fighting styles, make for a lethal combination. I still say Winter Soldier is the most overrated MCU movie, but that, oh, yeah. that fight team right there was good. But we can't forget his most iconic piece, the arm. Well, I mean, it's definitely the coolest metal arm I've ever seen. What about mine? I made it myself. Come on, Wiz. 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 Nah, buddy. I, I gotta say, nah. Nah, son. Nah, son. And it's so strong. Knives break on impact. It's not about the size of the arm. It's how you use it. Well, sure, it's uh, it's what now? Torn up by a vibranium you know, no, no, that's probably just no. Never mind, that's probably just my mind going. I shouldn't You're even went there. The no, nope, forget In it. In the com canonically, his arm is made up of strong but unspecified metals, likely a form of titanium alloy similar to the Iron Man suit. So we don't even actually know what this, what that shit's made of. So just like adamantium or or Captain America's fucking shield. Obviously, so many damn mysteries. Or you can use a cosmic cube to rewrite their memories that's what captain america did to save bucky who was so pissed off he just straight up crushed the cube with his bare bionic hand while this i mean that kind of would be bucky mad too i wouldn't want to rewrite my memories the comments of life cap kind of does a lot of messed himself. up shit <laughs> but thankfully it was hard to shake everything he learned from his hero steve proving yeah. that despite his sordid past bucky's persistence and resilience makes him a hero in his own right When you think of the word sidekick, who immediately comes to mind? You. It's you. Mm -hmm. No, Robin, the boy wonder, Batman's iconic crime-fighting partner. 
Yeah, it's yeah. Like second. All yeah. Honestly, sometimes you gotta really question Batman why Batman keeps doing this over and over again. Batman's taken under his bat wing. Some moved on to pursue a superhero career of their own. Others didn't turn out so lucky. Jason Todd. This I still can't believe that they actually the let the fans vote on this. Into the it, they himself. let him kill. They really let them the kill this man. The Batmobile can't exactly look at the damn Batmobile and mistake it for someone else's car. I Bruce mean... had recently split up with the first Robin, Dick Grayson, and was on the lookout for a new sidekick. Bats hoped he could live up to the last Robin. Too bad this was a literal dick measuring contest that Jason had no chance in. Despite yeah, some moderate true. success, J Joker style. On an unrelated note, if you want to see Wiz die a horrible, Ooh, gruesome death that will man. lead to some serious mental health issues, call 555 2337 or 555 Fear. Jason Todd was dead. Until Superboy Prime punched a hole in the fabric of reality. Jason was back in top form. Take that, readers. Your contribution means nothing. Ha! As renewed, Jason donned a new identity inspired by his own killer, the Red Hood. Well, the he had a goal. Destroy Batman and show him his humane methods were unfit for saving Gotham City. He's not if wrong. Manson actually killed the Joker way back when. He if you've been reading the recent Jason comics, the like, like they are not wrong. He's like, he, not exactly Batman wrong. is kind Where of Batman a very ineffective hero. Was up for the ten Most obviously, his armored cowl. While it provides him with sturdy protection, the sensors Ooh. within also allow him to scan his surrounding area, neutralizing really? any potential stealth threats. Plus, the hood can also explode, so... That's convenient. He's Sounds carrying like a bomb on his head. On top of the red wait, seriously? A venom. Wait, wait, wait. What's the symbiote doing here? No, no, the venom drug. It's what Bane uses to get all, you know, swole. Wiz, have you ever been? You had those two fight before. Come on, man. Done bouts of rage, but Jason. <laughs> Superpowers, here I come. You can call me the red. Boomstick. Man. No, you don't want to do that. Boom, boomstick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was weird. That was... Oh, I didn't think. I didn't. <laughs> Using Batman has made Red Hood strong enough to fight off. I definitely didn't see that coming. Once survived an all-cast ritual called the cleansing, which no human has been able to do in over a thousand years. And while it was difficult to determine if this feat was due to Jason's worthiness or stubbornness, you know, it's, it's moments like this when you really way, gotta ask: Is anybody guy. in the Bat Family Jumping seriously human? Batman oh, himself has already survived way, way too much I shit he shouldn't have been able to do. With he was able to sneak away from Supergirl. Even Bruce would be proud of that one. The Tell way him. he does the Red Superman, Hood yeah, he'd be proud of that one. And was examine his own personal code. He ultimately decided to be a hero again, albeit a very conflicted one. He also leads a group of ragtag heroes called the Outlaws. Mm -hmm. The roller coaster. Oh, I really wouldn't mind an Outlaws best, movie if they just like gave, gave and them at worst, clout. made him a violent vigilante who takes the law into his own hands. Those are the heads of all your lieutenants. That took me two hours. <laughs> two hours. You want to see what I can get done in a whole evening? All right, the combatants are set. I we run the data for all possibilities. Shit. But first, if you're into Dang, I do not remember being that messed like up. These, check out HBO Max. We want Guess chalk that up under more more things I definitely should not have been watching as a kid. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to need to invest in HBO Max now since they want to get rid of DC Universe. Uh, well, they're not getting rid of it. They're just turning it into a full comic app, which... I mean, that ain't bad, but still, like, shoot. Yo, Barbie. Oh, right, this is, in, this is live action. Oh, shit. What do you want, Bruce? Eight assassins from the League of Shadows were gunned down two miles from your current location. Sounds like a party. They were all shot with rounds from a modified M4. A gun I know is in your arsenal. <laughs> shit, that's a... Um... That's very strong. That's very strong evidence. <laughs> Not gonna lie. You know what? You can count on me to crack the case. In fact, I believe there's a bit of evidence that demands my attention right now. Jason. Yeah. Is my man? This. Ooh, this cinematography. Hmm. Hmm. Attention to detail. The scars on the face. 
Oh God, what's going on? What's up? Oh. Uh, Bucky, what you doing? Just, just bust, just came in shooting. God dang! What you even here for, Bucky? Look, I know Jason done a lot, a lot of messed up come, shit. Come on, come on. I'm not even gonna pretend that he hasn't. But still, come on, man. Sneaking? Stealth? Stealth game? Oh man, oh man. Bars closed. Ooh, nice! Oh, oh, I see how y'all did that. Ooh. Ooh! Oh god, ooh! Ooh, mm, mm. Oh god! <laughs> He's like, what the hell? <laughs> nice. Oh god. Oh! Oh! Had him shoot himself in the head? Ugh. That arm looks good. That arm looks good. Oh! Nice Texas switch. Things falling on me here. This is too epic. This is too epic. Oh! Oh man! Jeez! Oh man, what is that knife made of? Ow! 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 Jeez! Ooh. My turn. Of course. You gotta remember, gotta remember, the Bat Family loves their gadgets. <laughs> oh! Oh! Ow! Oh! That is. They did not actually do that. With a crowbar? Oh, 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 I don't like that. I don't like that. No. No. Oh. That ain't right. Oh, no. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh, God. This is anybody's get. Oh. Jason's really brutal. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Oh! Now 
Nope. <laughs> oh, couldn't use his gun. Oh, man. This is Agent Barnes. Uh, and I guess I lose. Oops. Oops. I guess I lose. Mm. Ugh. Ouch. Kyle. Oh, talk about a headache. These two were quite evenly matched. However, Bucky Barnes earned the edge in almost every other way. Like how Red Hood had plenty of experience training with Batman and assassins, but Wendy had decades of training on him with commandos. See, like I said, I figured that experience would come into play. The Winter Soldier also had an edge in defense. His metal arm was able to shatter a knife on impact, but when Red Hood took a similar hit, his helmet cracked. Ooh. Red really didn't have any way to stop that arm for good. Sure, using Venom could even the playing field for a short time, but a brief power-up is nothing compared to a metal arm and the permanent infinity formula. And don't take Jason breaking Supergirl's yeah. grip out of context. She wasn't expecting the Venom, and they weren't even fighting in the first place. It's also true. But not like seriously, like I've sense. seen people yeah, we know try and use that as an example, but still no. no way yeah, seriously. Combatant. Sorry, y'all. But the Winter it's Soldier one up him. I don't, him I don't care how mad you are. It's true. Survivability and a consistent Ugh. strength advantage. But hey, like I, I guess I lose. The no. The winner is the Winter. I'm sorry, Soldier. Boomstick. I can't give you that one. Thanks for watching this episode of Death Battle. Come back next week to see previews of our upcoming <laughs> matchups. If you want to watch more stuff, you can click the boxes right around here. I love the boys. Pick up some <sighs> merch at store.roosterteeth.com. Yeah, I'm probably not going to watch that. <laughs> I haven't even. Yeah, I bet him. Ragnarok? Oh. Ooh. Now that's a ghouly one. Oh, that's going to be creepy. Oh, God. Shoot, I've been keeping up with the recent Venom. Oh man, that's gonna get real messed up. Oh man, that's gonna get messed up. Oh god. Okay, so. <laughs> I feel. I think that went about as well as I guess as I could have expected. Did I wanted to give Jason the edge? Edge? Because, like, once again, I I usually just root for DC in these cases. Hey, Marvel gets a win this time. Right, when was the last time? <laughs> actually, what was the last time in a Marvel versus DC matchup that Marvel actually won? Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. But, basically, it's been a while since Marvel's beat DC in one of these. Honestly, just <laughs> gotten a real good win in general. They, lo they lost to a lot of people that just weren't, yeah, weren't comic book characters in Death Battle, and it's kind of hilarious. But, anyway... <laughs> What can I say about the next one, though? I, I'll be honest, I haven't really watched Soul Eater. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of shit for that. I should watch. I, I need to start watching. I, I've been in quarantine. What have I been doing? I've been, I've been watching newer car, new cartoons and stuff. Look, I've been staying and stuff, all right? I've been, looking at, I've been looking at my Western cartoons. Western cartoons have gotten really good, all right? You don't always need to watch anime, shoot. Uh, that's all I'll say about this, and I'll see y'all later. Goodbye.